In this video we are going to learn about Christmas celebration. Tips to celebrate a secular, religious, kid-friendly Christmas. Christmas is one of those holidays that just seem to be filled with cheer and wonder. Whether you are celebrating a secular or religious Christmas, your day is sure to be filled with happiness, especially with a little help from one in a million. Watch this video on how to celebrate a secular, religious, kid-friendly, or consumer-free Christmas after the jump. Happy Holidays! Spread cheer. When you hear Christmas songs, instead of being grumpy smile and whistle along. Being cheerful during the Christmas season really will help in spreading Christmas spirit to those around you, plus it helps you enjoy it more too. Enjoy your country's Christmas traditions. Let you be a kid again, and enjoy the holiday spirit. Whether it's leaving cookies out for Santa Claus, watching for Bob and Noel out the window, or leaving your clogs by the fire for Santa, indulge in a little holiday tradition, and give in to the magic. Decorate your house for Christmas. The possibilities for decorating are nearly endless. Put Christmas lights on your house. Hang mistletoe in the doorways, hang a homemade wreath on your door, or put Christmas figurines like Santa or Rudolph out on your counters. Buy and decorate a Christmas tree. Go with your family to your local Christmas tree farm to cut your owner head to a lot selling pre-cut Christmas trees. Pick out a Christmas tree that fits your house. Don't forget to water it occasionally and safeguard it from pets. Join up with friends and family. For many people, Christmas is about gathering with friends and family to enjoy each other's company and celebrate the holiday. The day is a national holiday, and most folks get a day off work. Take advantage of this time to reconnect with friends and family. Invite your friends or family over for Christmas dinner. Make it a potluck if you want to keep expenses manageable. The important thing is just to get together with people you love and make the winter a little warmer by sharing the warmth of caring with them. Go Christmas caroling. Either has it at your home, go door to door, or go to an old folks home and do it. Learn some Christmas or seasonal songs and sing. It's fun, and even if your voice isn't great, hopefully, you won't be singing alone, you'll get some cover from your more talented friends. Watch Christmas movies. Have a movie night during which you invite friends or family over and serve hot apple cider and popcorn or cocoa and cookies. Play Christmas movies like How the Grinch Stole Christmas, It's a Wonderful Life, A Christmas Story, Santa's Apprentice or any number of other seasonal movies. Do a generous act. This is in the spirit of spreading joy, kindness, beauty and love during the Christmas season. Maybe you can volunteer at a homeless shelter, buy some vintage decorations at or donate some of your unwanted decorations to a thrift shop, drop spare change into the local charity drive bucket. Help out someone with decorating like doing the tree for them and putting up outdoor lights. Consider giving gifts wrapped in lovely wrapping paper. You don't have to spend big bucks on gifts, small tokens are fine. Some families enjoy giving gifts to one another to show their appreciation for one another. You can buy gifts or make them yourself. Do something fun with your family outdoors. There's nothing as fun to do on a Christmas night than to walk or drive around town and neighborhood looking at local decorations. Head down to the beach or the local park. In areas where it snows, go sledding or build a snowman. Deal with Scrooges gracefully. If someone says let's cancel Christmas celebrations or something else negative, simply say something disarming, like, sorry you don't enjoy this holiday. You're still welcome to come and join us for the day if you haven't got any place else to go. No matter how they react, just blow them off as kindly as possible and continue your celebration, showing compassion to the poor Scrooge. Reflect on the reason for Christmas. In the Bible, you can find the Christmas story in the Gospel according to Luke, chapters 1 and 2, as well as the Gospel according to Matthew chapters 1 and 2. Consider reading these chapters aloud as part of your family's holiday. Invite God to come and celebrate the day with you. Some people choose to do this by attending a Christmas Eve service. Some do it by sitting before the Christmas tree and silently inviting God to just be with them. 
however you decide to do it. For the Christian, making God a part of your day is vital. Choose some activities that you and your friends or family will enjoy and which fit with the meaning of Christmas. Consider preparing some special foods for the poor and needy, visiting people who live alone or have no family close or dropping in to see the sick in the hospital. You might even give handmade gifts to people who aren't likely to get much this season. Spend time with others to celebrate. Gather together at the homes of friends and family and spend some time in fellowship with others who believe as you do during this special time. Give to others. Whether to your family and friends or to others less fortunate, spend some time this Christmas in giving. We give in remembrance of the gifts of the Mahdi to the Savior, but at the very heart of it all, recall that we are to give because he first gave to us. Spend time quietly being thankful for the gift of Jesus to the world in the world that we celebrate on Christmas. This is the day that Christians have set aside to celebrate the beginning of the greatest gift mankind has ever received. Coming into the Christmas season with a grateful heart is essential if you really want to make the extension from Jesus' giving of his amazing gift to your giving and receiving. Create your own nativity scene. A beautiful way to celebrate Christmas is to create a nativity scene within your house or on your front yard. If you have children, ask them to help you. They will love making the little angels and other figures. Involve your children in your family's traditions. Wherever you live in the world, teach your kids your family's traditions at a young age. There is something about Christmas time that is absolutely magical to children. Tell your kids Christmas stories. You can do this by reading to them, telling those stories before bedtime, or watching Christmas movies with them. A great idea is to buy a book about all the Christmas traditions around the world. This will give your children an opportunity to learn about other cultures' traditions. Help your children believe in Santa, unless they are over 11 years old. By that time, they usually stop believing in Santa. Explain who Santa is and how he is going to come visit your house. To really help your children's belief in Santa, help them leave cookies out for Santa on Christmas Eve. Decorate Christmas cookies. Whip up a batch of sugar cookies or gingerbread cookies and have your children decorate them. Your kids will love making their cookies into colorful, delicious creations. Have your children help decorate the tree. Once you have put up the Christmas tree and wrapped it in lights, gather your family together to decorate it. If your children are very little, help them along by lifting them up. Assign them special ornaments that they get to put up on the tree. Show your children how to hang stockings by the hearth. If this is part of your Christmas tradition, your children will love the anticipation of hanging their stockings by the fire and waiting for Santa. Choose ritual and tradition over gift giving. Establish family rituals and traditions that honor the spirit of Christmas and involve all family members. It might be attending church as a whole family, it might be giving a meal preparation task to each member of the family. Avoid spending money you don't have. Don't go into debt for the sake of one holiday. You don't have to give expensive purchased gifts. Instead, you can make a gift. Many people feel a homemade gift is better because it shows thought and consideration for the recipient. Learn some of the non-commercialized Christmas songs. There are some beautiful carols that you can sing together. Maybe someone in your family or circle of friends can play the piano or guitar. If so, encourage them to play and have a sing-along. Mute the ads. Try to stop the vibes for Christmas ads from invading your home life. The consumer economy has its place, but it shouldn't really be in your living room during a sacred season. Teach kids to mute the ads and do it yourself. Avoid decorating for holidays in a commercial way. You don't have to decorate your home or Christmas tree with presents, stockings, or the traditional figures of Christmas like elves and Santa or even licensed characters. Keep Christmas in December or at least after Thanksgiving. Another disturbing trend that retailers and some people are doing is called pre-Christmas decorating. Some know how to do this slowly and gracefully by taking a few items of Christmas decor at a time per weeks. 
don't let commercialism steal the beauty out of things that occur around the holidays. A pristine snowflake, the flaming red pincetia, the festive shiny leaves of holly or the beautiful evergreen tree. Reindeer are actual real creatures. The nutcracker actually is tool used to crack nuts instead of guarding presents. If you like this video please don't forget to give us a like and also subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.